Hey, what's going on? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another episode of Grayscale Painting. Uh, a few days ago, at the time of this recording, I tried to do a floral arrangement for a buddy of mine that didn't quite work out. My head was in the way. So, we're going to try this again. Okay. All right. This is pretty much more or less for, uh, for him. It's a basic construct of a, of a flower. Um, this is just a double layered um double layered um watercolor paper 140 pound weight all right and i just um, glued two sheets together to just to make it a lot more sturdy all right okay we'll just start with a basic floor i'm gonna start it a little high i'll just kind of put it around here somewhere all right you guys might not see that pencil um line too clear um but it is there um I'll do a different variety of, 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 of leaves uh, coming from it, okay? Um, kind of the oval shape, something like that, okay? And I'll kind of put a long one here. We'll just start out with some oval. They're a different variety of, of uh, I'll put one right here. So it'll be something like that, all right? Okie dokie. Um, I may put something on the top, who knows. Um, but this is just a light sketch. I know where the leaves are gonna go. They'll probably more or less be painted over. This won't be painted over. We'll kinda put some dark outside colors just to pop the flowers out, all right? Okay, I am gonna start off with a very light coating of vegetable um, glycerin. Now, I did get a couple of um, inquiries about the uses of glycerin. All right, I'm gonna start off with the glycerin. It's just a little bit of glycerin, and I mean a very little bit. You don't want to pour too much of this on because the paint lays on top of this. You follow me? Okay. My brush isn't the cleanest brush. I never really cleaned it too well. But as you can see, I'm just gonna go around the flower. Okay, now the, um, the brush being stained and staining the paper doesn't really matter. Okay, as you can see on how rough I'm putting the, the glycerin on here because I don't need too much of it. As a matter of fact, what I got on here might be a little much. Okay, so I'm going to wipe some of that off with a towel. Okay, so if you feel you got too much on, you can always wipe some away. And I'm going to show you that um, right now. If you feel you have too much of this stuff on, you can just kind of wipe it away. See this? You're not going to totally wipe it off. But you only need a little bit. So you just wipe it away, just like that. That's all you need to do, just wipe it away. Okay. Um, I'll use the same brush and I'll start off with a little bit of, uh, I'll just start off with black. I think this is black. No, this looks like purple. So I thought I had black on here, but nope, it's purple. But that's okay, I'll put a little bit of uh, brown into the purple. And we'll just kind of just kind of do this, mix it in there like that. Like I said, I, I kind of know where I want to put things, so it kind of doesn't matter. All right, and I'll wipe it up around here, get it pretty close to the flower, just like that. I'll put some dark blue in there also. I'll pop that dark blue in there. I'm going I'm to, you know, blend all of this, so have no worries about that. I'll put some of that blue down here. I'll kind of bring it all the way up here. Just like that all right i would rather it be a little darker than what i what i'm looking at so i'll just kind of slap some brown in there also just like that okay now i know it looks really messy it looks kind of strange and it's okay we're gonna blend all of that together Okay, I'll just take a very soft brush. And a lot of you know my kind of method of blending. Now, remember I took a lot of that glycerin off, so this paint is really drying quite fast. So I might have taken off too much of the glycerin because that's what's, it's streaky and it's not blending because I, I wiped a lot of it off, but that's okay. We'll, we'll work through all of that. 
but I can tell right now I took too much glycerin off. And if you did, you can correct it. So I'm kind of glad this is happening. Now, I took too much glycerin off, so it's not blending at all. It's looking pretty much like that. That's okay. I can take my glycerin, because I, I wiped a lot of it off. Wiped it, like really wiped it off. I'll just go back over it again with the glycerin. Just like that. Go back in its little circle there. Come back around with it. Because like I said, you just need a thin amount. And I'm going to repeat the process again. Okay. So in case you encounter something like this, if you paint on paper or on canvas, and you find that you might have wiped off all your glycerin, you wiped off all your glycerin, I got to learn to stop talking while I'm wiping my brush off. That's just kind of crazy. Okay. I mean, because I thought I had black in here. I did not have black. I don't normally use black. But, um, there. I'm going to use the same brush. Now, the glycerin moves this, moves this paint around, as you can see. Okay. It moved the paint around. I'm going to just get a little bit of black. Just a little bit. I'm going to come on down here and we're going to see now the glycerin is moving around. See? Just like that. I can, I can come around here a little bit. Uh, bring some of that up in the corner. Now watch what happens when I put the, the um, brush against all of that. I'm going to go back into my blue. I didn't wipe off the, bl uh, the brush. I'll come here with the blue. Just darken it up a little bit. Kind of swirl it around like that mix it around see now I can leave this I'm gonna go into some purple um, I'll pop the purple in here somewhere just like that now watch what happens watch the look that we're gonna get I'll throw some of that in here just like that I'll leave some light spots but much like that I'm gonna leave it be clean off my brush here I'm gonna go right back to my mop brush and watch the effect so if you think if you think you made an error, you didn't, because everything can be corrected. All right, just relax. Everything can be corrected, all right? Okay, once again, I'll just kind of softly blend all this. Now watch, you get a nice soft blend. Just go in a circular motion. I'm gonna bring some of that into the, the blank area. It's all right. Okay. And I'll just kind of smooth it all over. See, now you got a nice blend soft blend of colors working its way I'll keep that light area I'll just spin it there and just take your time have some fun let's spin spin it around a little bit just like that I keep that light spot right in there like that okay something like this nice and dark Kind of smooth off that roughness. Now remember, you're going to have leaves and stuff over this. So this dark background is going to bring the floral patterns right out. So this is going to help you out here. You don't have to go tiny circles. You can go large. Up to you. Okay. Okay, let's work with some um, the leaves. Remember, I wanted a different variety of leaves. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, I guess I'll dip into a little bit of this black. I'll put the black right here. You guys don't see the palette at all. I don't I don't have the camera on the palette today. All right. I'm using a little bit of um, black, dark blue and brown. OK, so my 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 brush, my um, I'm using a half inch flat. OK. So we'll start off with some kind of the oval kind of shaped leaves like this. All right. And we'll put one right here, kind of oval shape. It's going to go off the page and it's okay. So we kind of got a nice, almost like a, a big teardrop. So different variety of leaf like that. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll probably put another one up here. Different variety of leaf today. Um, we'll put one right in the center here. Nice little oval shape here. These, you're just blocking in the color, so don't worry about everything being pretty and exact as of right now. Not yet. 
but it'll get there. All right. And you remember you got the little little vein here. So you're just marking some of these off now. Uh, let's put a nice old one right here, like going down like that. Um, probably one kind of nice larger one right here like this. And we can come on down around here. We'll play with a nice oval one, just like that. Nice oval shape there. Okay. And we'll kind of bring one right up around in here like this. Make it nice teardrop kind of a shape like that just a, a little bit and I'll just do them over again flat come on out like that and you pop another one in there flat you turn your brush so it's thin come out go thin again and they look like that out flat and thin and what I'm doing is I'm taking paint off and I got a little bit of extra paint on there so it's doing um, what you see right now okay so it kind of blends itself right into the background and that's basically what i'm what i'm doing with those okay all right let's go back down here with these oval fellows in here okay now basically a quite a, a dark color there all right i'm gonna clean off my half inch real quick here and we're gonna start to kind of blend some colors and i will use a little bit of this uh yellow ochre i'm gonna mix a little white in the yellow ochre Okay, and I'm just, you know, just gonna kind of pop it in there like this. See this? And I'm just kind of filling in some colors here. Just like that. Just kind of pop them in there. All right, I'm getting a little bit more yellow ochre, a little touch of titanium white. It kind of beefs up that yellow ochre um, in there. And I'll pop one in here, just like that. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna shape these fellows like that, and maybe one right up in here like this, like that. All right, okay. Let's take a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow ochre. We're gonna make it kind of a green going on in there. Still the same half inch brush. Okay, same same brush, and I'll just take it. Okay, and we'll just kind of fill it in fill in a little bit shape shape now it's starting to shape the leaves up a little okay take some of this green and kind of give it that little green cast just like that I'm going back into my green now if I got to mix some more I'm gonna mix some more a little bit of uh the thale, uh, the dark blue and the uh ochre um ochre what is this stuff yellow yellow ochre okay and once again, we'll just start now fine-tuning fine -tuning your leaf a little bit, okay? It's not the basic leaves that you normally see me do, okay? And then I'll get the little stem going out there. And we'll brighten these guys up as we move, or lo uh, move along. I'm not going to get rid of all that yellow. But you see, it's a different shaped leaf. Okay, I'm not getting rid of all that yellow. You want to still keep your oval shape to these guys this is a different variety different flavor of leaf going into my yellow ochre going back into my blue I'm getting a little bit more of it so I can finish off these guys okay this comes in practice I'm not putting any glycerin or anything I got plenty of glycerin on the paper okay I'm not getting rid of that color still keeping that old, old uh, shape to these guys Come here, do the same thing up here. I say we'll brighten some of these up as we move along. Okay. And I'm just following the basic shape that I laid on before. Okay. Just like that. I got one here. I'm just tightening up the outside edge. Like I say, you're not you're not getting rid of what you think you're getting rid of. Okay. Let's start to highlight a few of these guys. And you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, a little bit of titanium white. Oh, a little more blue. Okay. A little touch of, a little touch of the yellow. We're gonna get it a kind of a bright green that stick out a little bit here. And I'm just mixing the uh, yellow ochre 
the blue, and the titanium white. Now the bird is a highlight list of you, you you need of it. Let's let's start off with the. Uh, here we go. We just do one of those numbers there, and we kind of branch this one out. You'll find yourself going back to your brush to get that bright, that brightness that's really needed in this. Okay. And so I know that you guys can see this this time. I'm going back into some more paint. When you see that your paint's starting to wear away, go just grab some more. Okay. Going back into my titanium white, going back into my yellow, and going back into a little bit of blue. That white will really strengthen up this color. I'm pulling the brush toward me so I get a nice sharp chiseled edge there. Okay, and now we can kind of we still keep keep that basic shape of this guy. Keep that basic kind of shape. All right, I don't need to add um, too much variance to this. It's just a little wisp of color, keeping that round shape. Flat. And it depends on how strong you're wisping this brush when you press and pull and lift takes a little, little practice okay see these guys are a little different than you know the others I would normally do okay and it's fine it is fine if you see some of your color kind of kind of fade out it's all right go get, get you some more and you can you can softly blend this okay I'm going to go into a little bit of the purple I probably won't need too much but the justice purple route right the tube and I'm gonna work on the dark side a little bit just a little okay as you get closer towards what you might represent more shadow you can kind of emphasize that shadow a little bit more in it up to you in your preference Okay, that shadow brings this leaf back and adds more to the three-dimensional look to your art for your leaves. Okay, as we get kind of close here, you're going to shadow that a little bit more because it's right underneath. It's underneath the um, soon-to-be petals. That's what I'm trying to say. Just like that. But you can kind of see I can bring some of that on the other side a little bit, play around with it. But you can start to see now some of the three-dimensional stuff that's going to happen here. Okay, I'm going to go into my white and nothing but the yellow ochre. So I can really, really pop out the brightness of, of some of these leaves. And remember, the more you do it, the less of it you need. Get it fairly bright, and you only need to do really the tips of the, uh, I had a nice little line there that helps you out here. Like that, come on around in here, a little bit in here. And I just really need the, just the tips. You don't have to do all of them. Some get a little bit more than others. But as you can see, it's me doing it there. You don't need to do every single, every single one. Some get a little bit more than others. Just like that. Okay. If you feel you need to add a little water to this, see, it, everything's uh, uh, it's really according to your taste. Or what you really want to see in there. Okay. I'm going to dip a little bit more white. The white's contaminated with the yellow ochre, so it will never truly be white. Follow me. You overlap a little bit if you want, up to you. And you can really get this moving, moving right along. 
All right, so this is what we are looking at so far. Okay, and it kind of gives it a little more of a wild look to them. I'm gonna go into my glycerin, going into my white uh, mix here. I'm gonna dip a little bit of blue into that bright mix. So it's blue, yellow, ochre, and white. Gives me a very light blue gray. Let's go up here. So let's work with a few of these. Let's, uh, let's bring this one out in front street a little bit. Press. And you kind of wiggle it away like that. Um, maybe I'll brighten up his partner there. Something like that and give him a nice little twist. All right. You don't have to do every one. Kind of keep keep a couple in the back back there. Let's uh, let's have one oh, on these guys. Let's just have one kind of flop over right in front of the other one like that and just come down. Okay. And maybe we'll have something hanging around here like this. And then maybe one up here, real short, like that. All right. I don't have to add really too much color to it. This, as you can see, this, this look will be fine. All right, let's get to this guy. Okay, all right. I'll use the same um, half inch brush um, for this fellow. Um, Let's go with um let's go with a we'll go with a yellow ochre white yellow ochre a little white and maybe a slight touch of red. We'll flesh it out with this. Okay. Alright, I'm going into my glycerin, but I'm not gonna put the glycerin on the board, I'm putting the glycerin into the paint. Okay. All right, we got the yellow ochre, a little dot of red, and some titanium white. And we're just going to kind of run the edges here, just like that. Come out here, put it over some of the leaves. So we're going this little circular pattern here, like this, just for right now. I can kind of fade some of those out, bring it, bring it out here by the leaves, like that. Okay, but we more or less concentrate out here. Put a something like that out here like that okay let's take um uh, let's take a little bit of purple we'll darken up this center here i think this is purple well whatever it is it's dark <laughs> okay and we'll kind of play around with that right up under here like that okay so we'll do something like this all right we're going to work with that i'll take a little bit of uh, titanium white and we'll kind of play around with, with um, the bowl right in here like this. Something of that nature. All right, so see the way it's looking right now. Okay. All right. Let's take... Now, here's a problem that my buddy had. It was... He, he was doing it doing it pretty much pretty pretty nicely. But when it came to the pedals, he was, he was a little trapped off with the pedals. So we're going to put a... Let's put a dot right here for now just right there all right that's the more or less all roads lead to Rome kind of dot okay where it's lit at here the pedals are kind of in front of us okay all right so let's build it this way let's take um let's take a little bit of water and we'll take a little bit of white and we'll we'll sketch out the petals first okay so let's say for um the this guy that's in front of us here will now you, you kind of have to kind of think through because when i do these first petals it's going to lay the groundwork for every other one so i want these this guy to kind of come out like this and curve and then you're going to take the bottom just like this, like a smile, almost like a little peanut. All right, I'll get some more white. We're gonna come here, and it comes around here, and once again, get that little peanut, peanut shape right there, like that. So we got those two. You follow me? Okay. Okay, let's get a little bit more white 
and I guess we'll stick with this yellow ochre ish color we're gonna block that in a little bit I might just use the slightest bit of red and I mean the slightest bit let's block it in let's block in this one first let's just block it in just like this just block it in for right now block it right in like that okay so we blocked in the first guy now the right the, the the vanishing point wouldn't be this dot it would be like somewhere down there okay so let's take a little bit of white a small touch of glycerin pull your brush so it gets a nice sharp chiseled edge you're going to aim your strokes toward that dot so what you're going to do i'm for right here i'm going to give, give a little tiny push and we're going to aim it toward that dot come here aim it toward the dot come here see i'm giving a little push of paint but i'm aiming it toward that dot in the area of that dot right now okay all right we're gonna do the same thing with this fellow i'm gonna get the smallest touch of red put it in to this yellow white mix come here and you're gonna block this in block it right in block it in just like that all right now keep in mind this flower is facing toward us and this is where the light source more or less is going to be i'm getting a little bit of white i'm gonna get a touch of glycerin and really brighten up that because that is going to is in front of us so he's going to get pretty much a nice direct hit of light here this fellow and once again kind of stroke it in there get a nice strong lip of paint there here you go straight down then as you go around the flower it curves and you're guiding that brightness in that direction okay I can probably cut this a little bit more if needed but we'll keep it like that for right now so they're facing this but they're cupped inward okay although the petals are going to be facing going in this direction even though you got this this circle your eye kind of makes it look like you only can go in one certain direction and that's not necessarily true okay let's get some more ochre i'll put the ochre over in here get a little bit of glycerin i'll loosen up the paint a little just a tad i'm gonna get a slight touch of red put it in there and i mean a very slight touch of red we'll just design the outer um the outer petals okay um we'll come out here like this and we put one there we'll kind of pop one here in the center um get one kind of like in that area and you just take it flatten it out and you start overlap your strokes just press and lift press and lift like that of course it's just got this yellow reddish thing happening and that's okay we'll, we'll come over here in the center one press you lift overlap overlap bring it right down in there overlap bring, bring it right in there like that now you don't really see it yet so I think I'll start to highlight them I'll just use white a little glycerin glycerin just loosens up the paint I, I need, need it pretty bright and like um here we'll, we'll go from here kind of put it in like that and then you give it a little, slight little push see this slight slight little push slight push bring it down and you're lifting up rather quickly okay everything kind of aims toward that 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 circle in there okay that's one down all right let's do another one right here give it a little push overlap a little bit overlap a little bit bring it downward and we'll kind of curve him inward okay you got one more you get a little more glycerin you can feel your paint kind of tack up a little bit just add a little more glycerin very tiny amount um this flower 
you know what, we'll have him kind of, uh, well, we'll start it here. And I'll, I'll just kind of curve him in like that. Have him disappear in there. He's a little bit behind the others. Okay. You see how they're starting to form. We're going to get some other, um, let's go with some more yellow ochre. I don't think I believe I ever did a yellow ochre flower before, but okay. Get a little touch of glycerin. We're going to make some leaves here or petals. I'm going to have to clean off my brushes. It's uh, got a lot, of, my half inch brush, got a lot of paint on it. Just wipe it off. Okay, you got plenty of paint down here on the palette. Okay, let's start with some guys, the inner flowers here. We'll start with the ones here and they're going to be a little higher up. Something like that. And bring him in like, like so. And you're going to start with another batch, a little higher. Get a smaller, a smaller fella that are in here. They're a little, you, well, you can have them brighter or you can have them a little up to you. Okay. So we got a, a few of them working around in there. I can have those a little bit brighter. I can add some white to the very edges just to separate them a little bit better. Okay, and I'll do that for this one. I'll give it a little, little push. And you're really looking for that nice white rim of paint. Okay, just like that. We can, we can kind of hi highlight. I need more paint. I'm not adding glycerin to this. I want a strong value of, of paint right in there. Something like that. That might be a little much. I'll correct that in a second. My my poor brush is losing its uh, little bounce there. I use these brushes a lot. Okay. All right. Um, let me wipe this brush off. Let me kind of. Darken that a little bit. Bring it in there. Okay. All right. So as I'm looking at it here, I can have. Um, I'll add a little more red. I'm gonna get a, a um, petal facing us, and I'll block it right in here. Uh, right here. I'll just block it in here. So what I'm doing, I'm going in the inside here. This pe this is a petal. That's gonna, I'll just do that. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of white. And right on top of that, I'll add a little, it goes higher here and it goes lower. So this one here is like right in front of us here. So we're kind of liven that one up right in there. It's like that, that one's right there in the center. Okay, and I can add some cute little things in between like that. And cause this is a different color, I can add them right up in there like that. And cover it right over. Okay. All right. <coughs> I'm going to add a little glitter and we're going to get some transparent petals. I'm going into the paint that I previously used. And once again, I'll sketch this out. Out here, you can kind of sketch one there. Come on out here, way out here. Sketch one there. You got one here that's almost to a point. See, I'm just starting to kind of place uh, the petals. Uh, let's have one here kind of come out, go in like that, and then we have one guy right in here like this. Okay. Now, all of these are going to match that little dot in there. Follow me. I'm getting a little more glycerin. We'll make these a little more transparent. Uh, uh, vegetable glycerin makes your paint transparent. I'm gonna add a little bit of ochre to it and maybe a slight touch of red, very slight. Okay, here we go. Once again, they kind of aim toward here. So you just take your out end of the brush. Look, you see this? If you gotta go a little bit past the, uh, the point and then go a little bit past. As this dries, you'll start to see stuff underneath. You start to see, your, you'll see your flowers underneath. I'm overlapping a little bit. I'm not going all the way into the um to the bowl itself you don't have to have all these streaks either you can just wipe them away 
just like that and it's going to start to form on you naturally the flower will open up and start to start to form i'm going to kind of put some i'm using it flat on the brush get some extra colors in there like that oh let's get some more color same color we'll brighten up certain spots okay and right here pretty much the same thing kind of pop it in there see this i'm pressing pretty good popping them in there this is a good flower for practice if you know just like that all right let's go down a little bit and these fellows are the biggest flowers they're on the outside you know they're just hanging out back there waving at people just like this come on out then you come back in like so all right let's take a little bit of titanium white i'm going into the already um yellowed up areas a little glaze a little brighter color and just for the tip you give a slight little pushing go in slight little push out go in slight little push out you don't have to do every one just like that see that see what it's starting to look like yeah let's get some depth going let's get an edge right here right on its edge just like that all right and we'll come over here we get a rim of color there overlap see that rim of color see what it's doing for your flower i can build on that on that and just adding a rim and just curving it now you can get another see how you can get another petal in there that quick you see that okay i'm going back into my white yellow mix i'll get a little more white there and i'm gonna get a touch more glisten get the paint to flow a little easier so what you're doing is every you know you're doing every just about every petal look at this look at that see that and i'm gonna leave it just like that i'm gonna go here with this this fella here give it a little push go in a little push of paint go in real quick a little push of paint go in a little push of paint go in it's like like so see you don't do every one see that one's in the seems to appear to be in the back this one here fades out appears to be in the back you got these guys on the outside it goes over the knee this plant okay or underneath or um, over that petal is what i'm trying to say let's take a um this i'm just getting more white let's take so i want this leaf to be in the back so you're gonna have to overlap it so let's take let's give it a little push and go in let's give it a little push it's like you're overlapping a little bit a little push right there so we're gonna continue that leaf and we're gonna do the same thing here on the other side, cur curve it, curve. See that? Just like that, right over that, over your, over your, see, over your plants a little bit, just like that. Now you see how that one's in the back now? Because you got the brighter rim of paint circling those petals. Okay. I'm gonna take the same bright color let's create another one on top of this all right let's start here bright bright go in go in now we start to give it a little push a little push a little push look at now you got another petal and we'll push the rim of paint on the outside there get a little separation just like that look at that see how you just did that you see how you do it in steps you didn't think you get layers of petals from that blotch of paint and they're transparent when it dries, whatever's going on back there, you'll see a little bit of that when it fully dries. All right, you can get them even more transparent if you would like. Now remember, let's go up a little bit because we're gonna, this flower is gonna be very large and it's just an example. Let's go up here. See those guys back there? Now, the more glycerin you use in this color, the more transparent it becomes. All right, so I'm really putting some glycerin on here, almost more glycerin than paint, but watch what happens. Watch. I'm gonna do this on purpose. Let's go here. Let's give a little push, a little push, and then go in. A little push, go higher. A little push, go even higher. See that concentrated line of, 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 of paint right there? Go higher. It's more glycerin than paint. All right? You don't have to have the lines, just wipe the lines away. But you got that rim of paint there. See, now you're gonna have some transparent petals. Go here. Let's do another one way up there. 
just like that. And we'll kind of curve him in, make him smaller, come on in, just like that. And you still see the plant leaf through that petal. See how that works? You see that? And the flower, as you can see, gets larger and larger. Now you got some transparent guys back there. Is that something? You can keep on with this little game if you would like. Watch. Uh, let's do one. We'll do it right here. Go past the leaf. Go past the leaf. And you just aim it. Now you go back inward. Go back in. Actually, I can take this and flip it. I'll flip it. Have a curved leaf right in there. Come here make that solid. Like that. Now you got a leaf that's curved. Look at that. See, he just made a curved leaf. You see that? It's still transparent. All right, but you just made a curved uh, leaf. Okay. We still got some more, some more games to do here. This one will be real fast. I'll just take a round brush. Uh, no, let's take this guy. He's filled with bristles there. We're gonna take some of this, this deep red. I'm gonna just put it right on the right on the ends of the brush, right in here. And you put some nice bright red stamens in. Look at this. Look, go high, go up. See that? Just like that. Just like that. Kind of pop it up in the top there. Have a couple of little dots going in the front of some of them. Go down a little bit, just like that. You see that? Look at that. Just like so. Okay. And I'll take a little bit of white. I didn't. I didn't clean the brush. And I'll get a nice little bright spot in there. A couple of. Just like some. There. Yeah. Kind of bright. Brighten up one side a little bit there okay you see how that works i got one more trick to show you so hold on one second maybe a couple more because we're almost at the end of this let's um let's get a um uh, either a script line or a round brush whatever one i find first it don't matter whatever one i find first it will do all right, got a script liner here. I'm gonna put some water in the script liner, and let's um, let's get some. I'm gonna get quite a bit of water here. Get some blue. Okay. Get a little bit of yellow ochre if I can get some in there. All right. I'm kind of mixing it in there with the. Uh, I'll get a little white to brighten that up a little bit. But I'm using plenty of water, uh, almost like an inky consistency here. Okay. All right, I'm loading up my script liner pretty good. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm hoping that this is clear for you guys, clear enough for you guys to see. Um, we can come up around here and we'll just kind of get a nice little swirl of, of see that? Just a little swirl. Of, little, we can come out here a little bit and we can bring it down here, kind of swirl it around, come behind leaves and whatnot. I'll bring this down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And we're adding a few nice little flowing, little viney things going across. Bring it down there like that. Okay. Adds a little life and movement to your to your piece here. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, I'll go and I'll keep it within the camera shot. I'll come out here and get some nice little curl like that going down like that. Come on down here like this. See that? Make sure you get plenty of um, of, of this uh, real loose watered down paint. All right, like that. You can add a curl, you can have it kind of, like for this fella, you kind of come in front of it and come on down like that. I'll pull back with the camera, you can kind of see what's happening, see what's going on there. These are just little flourishes. But look, look at the flower now. And you didn't think that could happen, right? But you can do this. This is this is quite doable. You can definitely do this. Okay. Definitely do this. There's something else I wanted to show you. Um, 
As a matter of fact, I'll show it to you um, here. I'm gonna take. As a matter of fact, I'll do it. I'll do it with red. I'll take some red. I'll take red. And right here on the tip, I'll just take the red and I'll just kind of push it out like that. We'll make little red buds right on the end of some of these guys like that. I'll take one going the other direction, just like that. I'll just swirl around right at, the, right at the ends. Okay. All right. Um. Let's take um. Actually, let's zoom in one second. I'll zoom it in close enough just for it to get a little dark. And we'll come to this petal right about right in here. And let's make sure it's, it's properly zoomed in. Okay, let's take a little bit of, mm, let's take some blue. Let's take a little bit of red, make something kind of dark, dark maroon here. Uh, maybe a slight touch of, of black and I'm gonna get a little bit of water just to loosen up this paint we're gonna do the bottom watch Are you watching watch I'll just put it down on the bottom like this I'll put one here I'll put one here just like that I'll put one right up around in here just like this all right okay so you got three of them over there I'm just taking straight titanium white Straight to titanium white, I'll put it here. One there. One there. One there. I'm rinsing off my brush really fast. I'm going to destroy the, the bottom edge. Bring some of that into the area. Just like that. Just bring it in there. Work kind of briskly put it in there just destroy a little bit of that top edge I'm gonna take a little pinpoint of titanium white and you pop that pinpoint right in there like that same thing here and another one right in there so you got little little dew drops going on in there see how that adds to your to your painting you got the little under, underneath shadow okay you can do the same thing on your on your um on your petal on your uh, plant too yeah this is perfect it's perfect vantage point right here put one put a nice size one right in there like that okay then you take it you destroy the inside edge this destroy you want a nice see destroy the inside edge just like that so you get some of that loose paint in there i'm gonna go back into my little dark mix and just for example sake i'll put that little dark rim off color it right in there like that all right okay i'm just rinsing off my brush real fast and going into my white paint and i'm gonna pop a nice little dot right in there if i can get away with it right in right in, in there somewhere just like so all right so i got one in there okay let's pull the camera back Okay, so you got one dangling around in there. Um, I mean, it's really up to you. I'll put one right here too. Just something like that. Nice, nice one can be, they can be seen pretty good there. And I'll just destroy that bottom edge. Just like that, destroy that bottom edge a little bit. I'm wiping off my brush and I'm just gonna kinda capitalize on that joker right there. He's a nice one. Just like that, round them out a little bit on the bottom. The bottom's gonna have a, a dark line anyway, so it doesn't matter, it's all right. Just thin out that bottom edge, just like that. Uh, I'll, I'll just for the purpose of this, I'll just get some dark and round it right off, just like so. Okay, and I get a nice touch of a blob of paint and let's see if I get a nice little dot right there, okay. And then you got one up there. Okay, this um quickly I'll just get some water and some white paint real quick here and I'll just sign my name real fast. Um I'll put 
put it over here this time. I usually don't sign on the opposite end. Come on, I'll sign my initials real quick. Um, three. All right, so this video wasn't too long. I wanted to show my buddy, you know, the concept of the flower, how to do it, and you guys know what's gonna happen next. Okay, and yes, it came from a sloppily done um, um, circle drawing with a dark center, and you and I, you know, I just drew the patterns of how to how to do it. That rim of paint is what really sells the illusion of, whoops, <laughs> sells the illusion of your florals. I just wiped away a petal somewhere. Um, and one's in the back because it doesn't have that rim of paint. So one's in the back, okay. You need some of that dark to show off the petals. You need more glycerin to get your petals transparent. You can see the leaf going right through it, okay. All right, um, you got all sorts of values going on from the leaf on the bottom, so you're not even trying hard to get that effect. All right, you got the petals that are cupped in front of us. You got the guys out here, then the guys out here, then the lighter guys out there. Okay, and it's just uh, it's really just yellow ochre, white, a little touch of red. Very simple color palette. The leaves are a little different; they're more rose shaped type of, uh, of leaves and they got they're hanging from vines you got the little vines coming on that turn into little buds you got the water drops all over the place in it um, another brush for little stamens or whatever you want to put it in the center kind of fill things up a little bit you've got movement and activity going on in the painting in the flowers BAM right there and this purple brown mix corresponds very well because it's the opposite of purple is yellow so everything mixes in well obviously the green because yellow is used to make certain greens so everything matches and corresponds with each other in this painting even though this painting took probably less than a half hour all right okay thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it helped out my buddy and uh, let me know in the comments below i shall see you when i see you and peace